Hello everyone, привет всем! Сегодня у нас будет еще один интересный прямой эфир. Today we are going to interview uh, Daniel Ajala, who is a uh, chief uh, of a ballet school in Nigeria. It's very interesting. Uh, сегодня мы пообщаемся с Даниэлем, основателем первой в Нигерии балетной школы. Такое до него не делал никто. Here it is. Daniel is here. Just a minute waiting. Hello, everyone. Okay, something. Oh, I see you. Hello. Hello. Hello, Daniel. My name is Nina. I'm glad to see you here today. Hi, Miss Nina. I'm Daniel. I'm excited to be here today. Nothing with the, your connection. Oh, my God. Cannot is it, is it see. A bad connection, I think. Okay, just give me a second. I'll, I'll join you back in. Mm -mm. Just for now, bad connection. Okay. I'm coming. Maybe you can try uh, quit and maybe try again. So uh, I can tell you a few words about Academy uh, was invented by Daniel in Nigeria. Uh, я расскажу пару слов об этой академии, которую uh, основал Daniel в Нигерии. Так, пока мы ждем. Она была основана в 2014 году. Так. It was invented in, uh, it opened at, uh, in 2014, and uh, it's the first African Academy. So, we try again to connect with Daniel. Hello. Hello. Can I, you hear me? I cannot see you. I hear you, but, oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, fine, so. Oh, <laughs> Mamma yeah. mia. And, Ciao. Um, great. <laughs> Thank so, you so very much. Hello, everyone. How are you doing, Miss Nina? Oh, I'm, I'm fine. I'm glad to he be here with you. It's uh, it's very, I don't know, unique experience. Um, <laughs> yes. Thank you for coming. Thank you so very much. I, I'm How's excited about it. Today? How's your week? How's your the pupil? <laughs> Oh, all my students are fine. They just left here about um, two minutes ago because we just came back from a trip, an international trip, where, where we had a festival. So give me a second. Let me just show you how. Um, let me just show you a bit of um, the poster for the trip. It was really amazing. Uh, where? Where? Um, are you so coming? this was. So this was the trip we had it in Mali, and mm. the girls had the performance, and it was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So, can we talk? Yes. We have not much time, as you know. <laughs> yes, I know. Talk. Uh, okay, the first question. I um, 
we will speak in English after uh, all I will translate. Okay. Uh, so the first question uh, this week uh, on our platform uh, is dedicated to Belay. So, mm -hmm. can you why did you uh, choose this style of dance? Why? So, мы спросили Даниэля, почему он выбрал именно этот стиль, uh, именно балет. So, Yeah, um, I chose ballet because um, in this part of Africa or in Nigeria here, there are not much um, ballet dancing per se. So I decided to be different. I wanted to do what is not common in the Nigerian society. That's why I wanted to do ballet. And, you know, there is something about ballet. In Daniel балет, потому что в Нигерии, именно вот в их регионе Африки, не существует туры, и он хотел сделать что-то особенное, выделиться именно этим направлением, потому что оно здесь совершенно не развито. Okay. Yeah. So that's why I decided to choose ballet, because, I, and, you know, ballet has lots of discipline, and, you know, just the feeling of being different is one of the reasons I really stuck to ballet, aside other dances that were prominent in Nigeria. Okay. Uh, он выбрал балет, потому что это очень особый, специфический вид искусства, который требует дисциплины uh, и большой стандарт, и который uh, очень как бы развивает людей. Так, so, okay, thank you. Uh, do you know any interesting and inspiring, inspiring stories uh, or facts about ballet? You most... In, What is, in, can you say it again, please? Uh, do you know any interesting or inspiring things or facts about ballet? What inspires you in that type of art? There are lots and lots and lots of things that inspire me about ballet. So many. <laughs> <laughs> The fact... When I hear a classical music, any of the repertoire or any of the, any of the Tchaikovsky or the Grave or any of the songs, any of, when I just see anything about ballet, it just inspires me automatically. So I don't really wait for an inspiration. Once I just see the ballet, boom, I get inspired immediately. <laughs> Мы спросили у Даниэля, что интересного или вдохновляющего для него есть в балете, и на что он ответил, что балет вдохновляет его полностью от начала до конца, музыка, Чайковский и так далее, и он может вдохновляться просто от всего того, что есть в балете. So, okay, next. Or, uh, or something else. Okay, uh, the second that is possible about Bali is the steps. Because it takes, yeah, the, when I mean that, the steps inspire me because when I see how carefully thought about the steps are, like, for example, you know, I, I, I tell my students that when you see a first position in ballet, it is not just there because it wants to be first position. It was carefully designed to work on your body. Mm -hmm. So it is not just a first position because you just want to be a first position. The reason why the French method actually kept it that way and wrote it down to be that way was really inspired by something. So you don't just do, for example, you don't just do a plié because you want to bend your knees. Doing a proper plié would help you to work on some muscles, your gluteus maximus and medius. So the inspiration about how carefully those steps were coined gives me more inspiration to, to really um, worship the ballet art, you know. Балет это не просто набор каких-то это в том числе, а то есть там это его то, что в связано. То есть вы делаете это движение не просто так, а в него вложен какой-то глубокий смысл, и он несет за собой связку между, допустим, вы делаете плие, и из этого плие вы потом можете делать многие-многие-многие вещи правильно. И э, э, все, как бы, французская школа, э, русская, на этом базируется. Окей, okay, uh, thank you. Uh, the next question is... Interesting question. Who is your favorite sure. ballet dancer? <laughs> Who is my favorite ballet dancer? Mm. Okay. I will start from the... 
From <laughs> well, am I supposed to say that here? Oh my yeah. god, okay. I have lots of favorite ballet dancers from very prestigious ballet schools from all over the world. I love them so much because they inspire me a lot. And when we watch, we I, I like take the videos from the internet and I show my students that watch them. Like we are studying um, the key liberation from Don Q. And so my students have been watching uh, Mariana Norez. Um, we've been watching um, um, Natalia Obsipova. And we've been watching, uh, that's from the girls. Then we've been watching, um, what's her name again? Vetna Zakharova. Oh, Vetna Zakharova. Mama mia. <laughs> so we've been watching all those videos carefully. Then Erena, er, 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 I don't know how to pronounce her name. But she's really very special to me. Er, er, Ekaterina, something, something, Ekaterina. So. But she's, can you pronounce her name, please? Ekaterina. Oh, thank you. That's okay. But your surname is, you can see the last name. I, I can't remember, but, but that, it's really amazing. So okay. we've been watching those videos. So it really inspires us to, so that those are girls. Then for the boys, I, I, I like. Um, um, can I translate girls, okay? Yes, oh, exactly. Yeah. Спросили у Даниэля, кто его любимый артист балета. И э, Даниэль перечислил девушек в балете, а артисток – это Марьяна Лануниес, Светлана Захарова, а Екатерина, можете поставить сами, потому что Даниэль не мог вспомнить, вот, сами, вот, и сейчас мы подходим к мужчинам, так. Yeah, and for the boys, I like James Withers from the American Ballet um theater and there's so many of them so many of them tons of them they are very amazing um very high principal dancers that that their inspirations are very very um, unimaginable their jumps their artistry is very very you know because I, I show my boys here also so that they can actually learn from people because i am actually self-trained and you know they need to learn from those who are very seasoned in the art form you know it's amazing mm -hmm. Да, мужчины ему очень нравятся из американского театра балета, практически все, они вдохновляют как его, так и его учеников, и они, ученики Даниэля очень часто просматривают видео с выступлениями, а также в женщинах, ему очень нравится Наталья Осипова, и точно так же и ученицы, и ученики смотрят видео с выступлениями этих артистов, берут у них что-то для себя. So, thank you. Uh, your academy, let's talk a little about your academy. Uh, okay. it, it, for my opinion, uh, it's a very huge uh, step uh, to, to your country, uh, what you do, what you did. Uh, I think you're a hero, maybe, something like thank that. You. Yeah. Academy, academy uh, becomes more and more popular now, and uh, can you tell about uh, its success? Uh, maybe it's a story, uh, how everything uh, is started. Um, you know, I, I opened up the academy in 2017 on the 9th of September, and, you know, we had, like, just five students, two boys and three girls. And, you know, when you start ballet, everybody wants to be there. And when did us? Twenty seventeen. Twenty. I. I think twenty fourteen. No. Twenty seven. No. no twenty seventeen. Oh. So my academy is just four years old. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, Daniel открыл uh, свою академию четыре года назад. Uh, прошу прощения, я вначале uh, сказала неверный год. Вот. Две тысячи. Году и сначала там было только пять человек. Два. Two boys. And three girls. Yes. Two girls and three girls. So let's yeah. talk. So, uh, and you know, we, we, we kept on growing. We had like lots of students. And because ballet was difficult, and some people feel that, oh, no, this, this kind of dance is not scriptural. It's very indecent. Mm -hmm. Because most Nigerian people are Christian. So they feel it is, um, it is ungodly. Mm -hmm. So they don't want their children to be there. 
So they, they withdrew their children from the act, from the dance form. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was hard, but we we kept on growing. We kept on orienting people, telling them that this is not a, an indecent art form. It's a very disciplined form. It's a very good art form that when you learn it, you would enjoy the art form and all of that. And you know, gradually they started seeing interest and allowing their children to be part of it. And today we are where we are. And I'm very grateful for the viral video that went on. And it has brought about lots and lots of opportunities. We've traveled different parts of the world because of that video. And we are still having tons of, tons of other opportunities that we are still going to be having. Школа начала, академия начала расти, были трудности с привлечением новых учеников, потому что это было связано с какими-то религиозными взглядами, люди считали, что это как-то слишком, ну, не по-христиански, то есть как бы не коррелирует с их образом жизни, но Даниэль и его посредники пытались донести до своего общества то, что в балете... Это четкая, строгая дисциплина, которую, которая будет развивать и добавлять, а, ну, как бы, а, делать уклад жизни людей а, на совершенно новом уровне. Так, so, okay. Can you tell us something more about it? Or the, the, sec, uh, the next question? Um, so, I think um, it has, you know, um, that's how we keep on growing and I'm so happy because most of our students have gotten opportunities that weren't available before. Now we have more professional teachers teaching us, and that's the most important. Uh, who is your teachers in academy now? Not only you, who, who else? Um, currently, the on-ground teacher is myself. But for international teachers, we have Kat Wildish. Um, and we have some very amazing teacher. We have also our friend, Miss Lucy, from um, Amsterdam, who always teaches us. Um, there are lots of amazing teachers who have been very, very helpful to our dance academy. They you know, they teach, help us. They teaching online. Yeah, they teach us online, yes. Uh, Miss oh. Linda Huxman, the artistic director for San Jose Dance Theater, they always help us to, to learn very well. A lot of them have been very amazing and helpful. Теперь вот в Академии есть несколько учителей из Европы, uh, uh, они преподают онлайн, но в, uh, фактически uh, главным педагогом является Даниэль. Окей, okay. that's very interesting. Uh, look into the uh, what do you see? Are you still a uh, teacher in Nigeria? Or I don't know. <laughs> Can you repeat the question again? Okay, look into the future. What do you see? I feel a ballet teacher in Nigeria or something else. Um, looking into the future, I, I believe that ballet is here to stay. And I, I, I believe that everyone should be given an opportunity to dream. Everyone should be given an opportunity to at least... Um, dare to do something. I, I've been to so many places where people say black people cannot do ballet. I've been to a lot of places and people say you can never make it in the ballet world. But I must tell you something that when you give us an opportunity, we would make sure that you don't regret giving us the opportunity. And that's one thing about black people. We are very hard workers. So I think the future of ballet is here in Nigeria, most especially for my students. They work maybe, very hard. Maybe we, you can, you will open a theater in Nigeria. Of course, definitely. Yes. <laughs> we're, we're working on that, you know. Yeah. So, мы спросили Даниэля, если мы заглянем в будущее, кем он себя видит, видит ли он себя там также учителем балета в Нигерии, и он сказал, что да, несомненно, потому что для него это а, особый, это дает ему особый заряд и смысл в жизни, а, и он хочет показать, что а, как бы его народ, он тоже может а, занимать определенное место в искусстве, в балетном искусстве в мире, 
и что а, его ученики очень трудоспособные, трудолюбивы, и они могут и готовы добиваться каких-то высот, и он очень рад открыть а, театр в Нигерии. Я буду счастлива, если это случится. I will be so happy if you can open a theater one day, and uh, I think it will be great. Maybe someday I can buy tickets to your performance, I don't yeah. know. That would be amazing, Ms. Nina. Yes. So, the next question. Uh, what do you think about today's dance industry and ballet particularly? Uh, is there anything you'd like to change? Um, for, for me personally, what I think about today's dancing is that I, I want people to include everybody in the art form. Um, like I told you before, I've been... I've been to several dance schools internationally. And when I go into the schools, I see that we are the only black people there. And I feel very bad because the teachers will say, oh, ballet dancers are not for black people. And it's really painful. Yeah, so I, I really want people to be given an opportunity. In today's ballet world, everyone should be treated as equal. Everyone should be given an opportunity. Nobody should be felt um, less of themselves because of their skin colors. They should be given an opportunity. If I have the talent for ballet and I'm really ready to put in the work, give me the space and I'm going to do well. That's what I think everybody should be given an opportunity to do. Yes, thank you. Мы спросили у Даниэля, что он думает про сегодняшнюю танцевальную индустрию и балет. В частности, хотел бы он что-нибудь здесь изменить. И он говорит, что самое важное – это давать возможность а, а, людям развиваться, расти, и что а, люди из его региона, его народ, а, он имеет а, ровно такое же право на развитие, в том числе в балетном искусстве, а, как и все остальные, и что если да, предоставить условия для развития, то а, они, его ученики будут ничуть не хуже любых других европейцев или, не знаю, русских. И я, в общем-то, с этим согласна. I agree. I, uh, as an adult uh, ballet dancer, me, uh, mm -hmm. I agree because uh, we need to uh, let our souls uh, to something and okay, it can be ballet. Why not? Uh, we can also do this. Uh, exactly. And, uh, Because, because we can, because we um, uh, listen to our body, in, uh, uh, our souls, maybe. Mm. And I understand that I can do ballet, not like Svetlana Zaharova, but <laughs> in my <laughs> special way, but it's okay. Yes. No. So, what is dance in your life? <laughs> oh, dance. Oh. It's everything. Yeah. Dance is everything. I breathe dance. I eat dance. I sleep dance. I wake up dance. Everything. Dance, 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 dance. Что танец в твоей жизни? Мы спросили у Даниэля, и он, естественно, ответил нам, что танец — это все. Он спит и танцует, он ест и танцует, он танцует и танцует, и так далее. И я с этим. And the last one. Very, very fast. Uh, please continue. Dance is. What do you say? Please continue uh, the sentence. Dance is. <laughs> dance is everything to me. When I dance, I feel happy. When I dance, that's, I, and I love teaching dance to children because I like to see them grow from not being able to do a proper plié, to knowing how to do a better plié, and to going to do relevé, jumps, pirouettes, and all those things. I love to see transformation. For me, dance is transformational. Yes. Мы спросили у Даниэля наш основной вопрос. Его задаем мы каждому участнику наших эфиров. А что танец это? 
А, и Даниэль ответил, что для него танец — это все, и он обожает преподавать. Для него танец — это трансформация. Когда он преподает, он видит, как растут его ученики а, на плие, на растяжке, на прыжках, на пируэтах. И для него это невероятное вдохнов... вдохновение и... и смысл. Thank you, Daniel. I cannot see you. I can see you yes. just a... <laughs> it's, it's getting um, dark here and yes. we're losing daylight. Yes. No, it's a word about... Uh, it's yes. a situation that we must uh, finish our beautiful uh, live stream. Thank you. I know. Coming, yes. I'm uh, very happy to see you and meet you. Thank you I so much. A big luck uh, to you and your students uh, and Thank your cat. You. And we'll be a theater in future. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> Thank yes. you so much. Bye bye. Bye bye. Ciao. How do you say bye bye in Russia? Пока. Пока. Bye. <laughs> Пока. <laughs> <laughs>